Start by placing a light resistance band in front of you. Squeeze the waistband around your torso to counterbalance the band resistance at the front. Then bend the elbow with the palms facing the side of your face. Abduct the shoulders by closing in the biceps to the ears. For the challenging part, rotate the upper arms inward until your hands start pointing forward. The trick here is to maintain core extension and favor the back chain, specifically the upper back muscles. This type of catch is different from the previous video that we did. The backstroke catch favors the back chain while the free and fly catch favors more of the front chain. But in both cases, the tension should form this type of counterbalancing relationship in order to enforce the proper muscle contractions. Both variations of the catch are also overhead movements and not pull-downs. To simulate the backstroke catch further, let's add the rotation. In this example, the legs are split right over left to activate the core sling. The main anchor point is the left glute muscle that pulls the right side of the body closer into the anchor point, creating this rotation motion. From the front, the supporting anchor point is the right hip flexor while the left side of the body closes in to complete the rotation. If this drill exposes mistakes in your rotation, we'll fix that on another video.